Okay, hello, this is a uh, live stream kind of thing. Uh, this is the all the proceeds, I guess, are going to... Since... Be used. <laughs> oh, just... You don't get proceeds, man. <laughs> These are the people who are advertising you. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Donate oh. money, please, in the description. Please. Okay, well, let's... <laughs> let's uh... I'm I'm picking out a solid song for this story. I don't even know what it's about. I'm gonna kick her on with the Muji. I'll just... I bet you it's like, like a scarecrow that scares crows. You think so? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna narrate it. I can hear the whistling again. It's the final week night, and again he has week? come. Oh, okay. sorry. Whistling. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> that little ditty. Repeating it again and again, enough times to drive the sanest men crazy. I can see through the window, the light through the cornfield, the rustling of plants, the maidening of whistling. It's all accumulating to the feeling of hopelessness and dread. I guarantee a five bucks a gothic chick wrote this. This is just... That or so the, the really stupid part is, I can see through the window. No, I thought windows were supposed to be like some hollow <laughs> piece of brick. Right? Thanks for the useless detail. Okay. <laughs> Like being faced with a gun oh, yeah. while you're up against a wall. No, that's an emo chick. Yeah, trying emo commit, chick, too. Trying to commit suicide while writing it. <laughs> no offense to emo chicks. No okay. <laughs> I know he wants to find me, but I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he wants. Just repeated the same thing twice. <laughs> I, I, I didn't do it out of st I didn't do it out of stuttering. I was legit. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> The lamplight is becoming brighter, the whistling is becoming louder, and the dread in my stomach is getting worse, and worse every second. Thank you for the sound effects. Okay. No, you can do sound effects, right, that's well, awesome. I gotta, I gotta, like, drink something to get all this crap out of my mouth. Hold on. Okay, I'll just continue. Only my need to keep quiet is preventing me from either screaming in fear or throwing up from the sickening tension. It feels like time is torturing me making things seem slower than they are to keep my anxiety levels sky high. <laughs> Sorry, I was salivating. <laughs> <laughs> but, it <laughs> but it feels all too soon when he finally shows his face through the green frog like plants. All I can see is his smile. A stitched oh. malicious smile. Like it was sewn shut to keep his hatred from spewing forth. The dim lamp swayed oh back and God. forth as he came through the corn effortlessly. <laughs> hey, wait, hey, corn's something hard to walk through. Did, hey, wait, have you ever tried to walk through a corn did field? He do? Did he like do the white came or did he just walk through came? He just walk through okay. came. Jesus. And it said he walked through the corn field effortlessly. That's, they're not hard to walk through. Is, well, like depending on like if they're in rows or if they're just scattered all about. Either or, they're not hard to walk through. No, you can usually knock them down pretty easily. Okay. Almost gliding through like a ghost, it's nauseating. Seeing his dimly lit figure wander towards my little house. But it's even worse. It was to a skeleton out that popped out of the field. <laughs> Shh. I'm sorry. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Continue. Where was that? I'm just gonna go to this. He's at the door. I can hear it slowly creeping open. God knows what he can open. But a locked door. I didn't know he but could. This... I didn't know that like he couldn't open certain things. I know. But at this point, I'm too frightened to care. Too frightened. I hide in the cupboard. Cupboard. <laughs> That's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Cup. I hide in the cupboard, sweat dripping from me like a water balloon that got punctured. Uh, that That's doesn't a... drip, that flows. What? what? <laughs> Don't question it. The whistling Don't question is now... Don't question gothic chick's way of saying things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the whistling is now right underneath me. And the constant creaking of the floorboards <laughs> is giving me shivers every time I hear it. <laughs> He's coming up the stairs, and the dim light is slowly creeping through the crack of the cupboard. Brighter and brighter, the whistling is getting louder and louder. Every synapse in my body is getting so tense it hurts. The light stops getting brighter, and the whistling is almost like it's right next to my ear. Here, quickly, uh... Ugh. 
confused. <laughs> and then I let out a breath. The whistling stops. Oh god, no. He knows where I am. He'll find me. And it'll all be over. I can't hear his breathing. Just his footsteps. A few seconds Little girl, go by. I want your boobies. <laughs> no noise. No whistling. Just infinitely tense silence. And then the whistling begins again. He walks away. Oh. Leaving my scared stupor. The door closes. The light fades. And I'm left scared and alone. So here I am. Hey, that's how I sound like dreading. on my first date. Scared and alone. <laughs> <laughs> the dreading. That time. The next time. Won't be so lucky. Well, the next time. Get a freaking crucifix. Okay, you know what I don't get? What? Why the hell, when I'm doing this shit live, why am I, like, not stuttering? I'm blowing right through it, okay? Know. I know, right? But, like, if I'm hardcore, like, okay, I'm recording. I know, this you're, is like, going you're up. recording, because, like, you're not, you're not afraid of messing up, so you do mess up. But when you're, you know, you're so afraid of messing up, your brain's, like, put into overdrive. It's so weird. I'm legitimately mad at myself. Yeah, I just oh, blew through that story, messing up at yeah, the end because you kept making me crack. Like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so here's um, here's children of a killer. Yeah, it's a Jeff the Killer story. So this is gonna get awful real fast. Is it? Is um, it short? All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm. I'm gonna start a Christmas Muji song. Okay, go. All right. All right. It was a bright, sunny day at the local orphanage. Yeah, uh, orphanage. As the sun shone through a window, two children woke up. Andrew and Cassie were twins, seven years old, and lost both of their parents. I didn't know they had two sets of parents. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought they were like siblings. All right. When they were infants, Andrew inherited his appearance from his dead uncle. <laughs> <laughs> his uncle also touched him at night. No. And Cassie got hers from her mom. Wait, 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 wait. How do you get your your trades from your uncle Don't if- question the story! Okay, all right. Don't question the story. They went downstairs to play with their friends. Got a burp. I just sped a- Jesus Christ, how do you narrate? Oh, I got uh, burp. Uh, you, I edit three so... hours of burps each story. <laughs> yeah, like there's like a burp. It's like, I uh, did. Uh. <laughs> it's just like every other word. It's, it's a burp, so. Yeah, all right. Later that day, they saw a figure that scared them. The only one uh, they only got to see his head. He had black hair, skin as white as snow. Again, it's a Jeff the Killer story. What can you expect? Eyes bordered in black and a smile carved into his face. It was actually the Joker. <laughs> they complained into a caretaker that they saw a yeah. scary figure. They described everything they saw. Hey my gosh! Was these caretakers said before? Okay, nope. I can't read this. I I legitimately just cannot read this. It's it's too stupid. Too stupid. It's too stupid. It's too it's stupid for the creature. Gonna... <laughs> it was probably gonna end like, I'm your. No, it's like Andrew, Cassie. I am your father. Okay, that doesn't even sound like Christmas music. Why are you playing that? Playing what? That music. I can hear it. Oh, can you? Yeah. It's actually Christmassy. You'll see when we watch the video. Okay, but now let's... I can hear it right now, dude. It's not playing anymore. Now you're just hearing things. Really? Yeah. What the... Okay, so... Hold on, hold nah. on. What is this music coming from? <laughs> like, it's really good, but it's weird, too. I'm try trying to figure this out. Hold on. What? Okay, how do you do that? There's a page on the wiki that has that song playing. That is weird. <laughs> okay, so, okay. now... A uh, friendly reminder, right, quick, to download to St. Jude's Hospital since it's Christmas, holidays, New Year's. Stop bullshit. advertising! Hey, good cause. It's one thing if you're like, check out my channel. It's another thing if you're like... kids in our stories. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, wait, but before we start another one, we have to do something like... Oh, whoa, this one's whoa. extremely loud. Okay, er, loud, sure, long. 
Okay. Okay, what? Yep. Okay, we gotta do something. Like, what? I, I Like, we did do a live stream that, like, is being a butt rendering, <laughs> which is probably never gonna go up, so we're gonna do this again. Most embarrassing moment, and, yeah. I don't... I've never had an embarrassing moment. No, well, I'll tell mine. Okay. I shat myself in front of the girl I liked. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I remember, like, it was a chick I liked for a long time. She said yes. I was so happy that I farted. And you crept. Uh... Um, well, I didn't croak. You just said shat yourself. I shat my. I didn't literally shit myself. I was just a nasty ass fart. <laughs> like wet. Like oh, she, you don't need to alliterate. You don't need to. She was. Fl she was flapping the window. She was like, "Oh, I'm a lesbian." I'm like what? Um. No right way. I mean, uh, you know what that reminds me of? St. Jude's Hospital. She totally donated. Yeah, I, I remember uh, <laughs> crapping myself in St. Jude's Hospital. It was like the experience <laughs> I ever had. You know, like, really? I had, like, stage 3 cancer, and farting so hard made the cancer just, like, run out of my body. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's do cancer jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah good, good call, creeps work. Let's... Yeah. Just your what daily dose of, of work. <laughs> um, let me think. Uh, I, I, I've i tried to, like, pretty much get all the uh, embarrassing moments out of my brain, so I don't have to relive them. I think they're hilarious when I'm, like, looking back at them. Um, let me think. Uh, what was an embarrassing moment? Um, uh, I don't know, because, like, in middle school, I became a pretty hardcore kid when it came to asking girls out. So, hmm. yeah, I don't know, I'm... I don't really have any embarrassing female I don't, stories. I don't know, shitting yourself in St. Jude's uh, pretty bad, I'm just... <laughs> that's... Um, let me think, let me think, uh... It doesn't have to involve a woman. I know it doesn't have to involve a woman, but, like, that that's usually the greatest stories ever, is when, um... Oh, I have another story lined up? Oh, Guess I what know, the first I sentence know. is. Oh, oh, okay. alright, alright, go, go for it. My, my embarrassing story was when I was a little kid, well, like, small, yeah, little kid, um, I was, like, 12 or something like that, and, uh, I was in Walmart with my mom and everything, and I got a, um, a rubber toy spider... And, you know, for some reason, I thought it's huge freaking fangs where, like, it's oversized fangs where it's legs. So, you know, I was like, hey, mom, it actually has ten legs. I look up. It's some other lady that I'm talking to. And I look around, and my mom's, like, on the other side of the store. And I'm like, and my heart, my stomach just sinks. And, you know, as a little kid, that's really embarrassing. Nah, uh, yeah. I don't know. That, that's all I can think about. Oh. I got a story. Guess what the first sentence is. What? You're gonna hate it. The story starts with Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Oh. That's a that's a pretty good... Uh, oh, no, no, I've played Melee. I've never played Brawl. Crap! Melee. Yeah. Melee. Melee. Say it with, say it with me. Melee. 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 Super Smash Brothers Melee. 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 <laughs> hey, you have your freaking Pennsylvanian way of pronouncing it i have my michigan way <laughs> we're in the same time zone I know. Then, again, then again i think boston's in the same time zone as us so are new yorkers so is new jerseyers they got weird yeah, stuff well, going i don't on. consider new jersey really good because that's where that jersey shore was filmed and jersey shore i don't care if you're a fan you're retarded <laughs> welcome to st Jude's hospital where jersey shore is banned for life because... Hey, that's another reason to donate to yeah, them. Yeah, because below. Jersey Shore is no longer allowed in there. Mm. They should be getting millions right now. Don't you feel good, though, get, having a link for them to donate so you don't feel like a total asshole making fun of kids with cancer? Because you're really helping them. Yeah, just... I know, right? It's kind of like it's kind of like punching a dude in the face and then giving him 10000 bucks. <laughs> it's like, dude, I okay. that. <laughs> yeah, why not? Like, if I could go to St. Jude's right now, I'd be like, Hey kids, guess what? You got cancer, but we're raising awareness for it. <laughs> Just laugh in their face and be like, "Here's here's a twenty. <laughs> here's the cure." <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of conspiracies behind that, but I won't get into those. Okay, do you want me to narrate the Super Smash Brothers story? Uh, actually, I I found one. It's like half a page. I never got to like fully narrate one, so. I'll All right. Do this. Oh, yeah, go for it, Dick. Um. All right. It's called Joypolis Murders. Okay. Okay. 
I have music playing, so. Have you ever heard of an arcade in arcade in Japan called Joy Pol Is this a knockoff of Polybius? Polybius? Doesn't matter. Okay. No, it's not a knockoff of Polybius. All right, all right. Clearly sure, not a knockoff. Okay. Of Polybius. Have you ever heard of an arcade in Japan called Joy Plus? It's owned by Sega. A bootleg one was opened in Manhattan. Once in 1997, a new mascot actor was hired to play the role of Sonic the Hedgehog. Every other ru night, <laughs> every other night, this man who liked to be called Morris, oh that's a kid friendly name, gathered up all the kids he could find who weren't so supervised. He told them that in the back room were free arcade games and mountains of tokens. The kids would walk into the room to find two arcade games, but only six tokens. The kids played for an hour, and kids who seemed scared were dragged into another room and beat to death, or, so Whoa! or sodomized. No. Holy shit! I know, right? That escalated. That's just like escalated, on, you know, reason. After an hour, these kids were grouped together in the back room, then sodomized. I mean, the kid had, <laughs> the kids had blindfolds put on them. And we're put into gr bleh, meat grinders. Again, escalation. It's quick. Head first. Yeah. They were put into food for the snack bar. Oh my. They were called a sausage bites. In typical snack bar fashion, the food was delicious. <laughs> One day in November, a woman found a human ear in a basket of it. Well, meat grinders would grind that up. Um, not that I would know. Um, the arcade was shut down, and Morris was sent to. Okay. He was, he got killed like they killed him. All right, that was kind of garbage. That, like, I was interested at first because I was like, oh, Sega, uh, <laughs> it, it, it it doesn't seem bad. And all of a sudden, they I were taken into a room and killed. I'm like, I wasn't oh! a Sega kid. I was a Nintendo kid, so. I was, I was a Sega and Nintendo kid. Like, I'd be playing Sonic, but like, then I'd be playing, like, uh, I was I, pretty much just anti-Sony. I only, <laughs> I only had a, um, NES, uh, you know, played, um, Mario, Mario Bros. 3, um, and then, uh, yeah, we had, a uh, Exodus, a Bible game. It was pretty fun. Um, a lot of people know it, but, and then we moved on to a Nintendo 64, which, that was, like, just badass, and then, um, everyone loves a 64. Then we moved on to a GameCube, and then, now I was like, you know what, because, like, after that, I got into PC gaming, played uh, Halo, and I was like, I need an Xbox 360 so I can play the third game. And I still have mine from two years ago, and it's still running fun. The CD drive gets stuck like you wouldn't even imagine, but... I have the 360 Slim, not the new new one, but you know. Yeah. I, mean. I, I don't like the Slim. I really don't. It's, it's okay. Like I'm not, I have no complaints about it. It works, you know. It... Uh... I just don't like the motion sensor part of it. Cause like yeah, that, I think that's that's a little bit annoying because you know I'll pick it up before it's you know. Not then the thing out. is the the vents that they put on it are retarded where they put them. I, I've never had heating problems, but my friend yeah. is like overheats so fast. I mean, like it doesn't overheat to the point where like the game's no longer playable, but like it just gets so hot. Like honestly, they just need to get like a liquid cooled Xbox or something. <laughs> Oh, that's money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, Microsoft would do it if people buy it. You know. That's true, but, like, eh. I, I would say, oh, yeah, who's going to pay that much? But I just thought of the company Alienware, yeah. and I was just like. Yeah, people spent a lot on that, and it's not needed. I, I mean, I'd be a hypocrite because I have an Alienware, mm -hmm. so. It's kind of just a name you're paying for. Uh, well, no, I have the hardware in there. Like, oh. it's got, it's got like an Nvidia an GTX. Player, so like, they're designed for gaming. Like, I, my processor's overclocked by a lot. So. Okay, so if you I want to read a story, go ahead. I will totes narrate the Super Smash Brothers brawl story. Okay, it's probably gonna be stupid, isn't it? Most likely. We haven't ran into a good story yet. It'd be cool if we ran into, like, the next big story and we, we read it and we're just like, hey, that didn't suck. It's like, it's like called, um, Killer the Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually good. That would be the best. 
That would be really cool. Like, stupid title, insanely good story. Yeah. Actually, right, here. Uh, never mind. I know it's okay. Jeff the Killer story that's actually pretty good because Jeff dies in the end. Huh. Music to my ears. I know, right? Oh. He needs to die. You need to realize he's a 15 year old kid. Like, I would have loved to see the original one. He died at the end. Uh huh. I would have just, like, I would have gladly narrated that. Yeah, because it's more realistic. I mean, I mean, a 15 year old kid can only do so much. Yeah, he's 15 plus. He probably would have died from being burnt so bad. I don't know about died, but, like, he'd be physically impaired, I would think. Uh, he, he, like, he wouldn't be able to feel anything. Because his nerve well, that, endings gotten burnt. To that and if you have third degree burns, it burns your bones and your muscles. I've got so, I've gotten like second degree burn and it hurts to even just I, I it was on my shin and it hurt to even put pressure. So yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna narrate this bad boy real quick. Right, cool. Here I go. Uh -huh. This story starts with Super Smash Brothers Brawl. No I had just, <laughs> I had just gotten a Wii for Christmas. Oh my god! Uh, so I'm sorry, Wii's are they're, awful. They're not that bad. We'll you we'll talk about that later. Okay. Okay, we'll talk about. It. So when I heard there was a new Super Smash Brothers game coming out for it, you just I was yourself. psyched. At, uh, AKA just myself. <laughs> I had Super Smash Brothers Melee for the GameCube as a kid, and it was my favorite game ever back then. Hey hey I started hey. To what? Really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. I started saving up for the game, but never managed to fit in time to buy it on my busy schedule. What the hell? You can't stop in a GameStop for five minutes yeah, and pick up a plus, game? Plus, if you have a Wii and you want to play that game, you're usually don't have a, you're not, not old enough to usually have a GameStop. Exactly. Okay, here we go. About six months after the game's release, I finally had a free weekend to go get the game. I drove into town to my local GameStop. When I got there, they were all oh. sold out. Oh. He has a car. Wonder... Right. Wait. I wonder if the... How can they be out six months after a game comes out? How I don't know. Possible? Don't make fun of it. <laughs> Bro, it's called the internet. Use Amazon. I don't care. <laughs> I All wondered right. if there was something else I could buy, and I started rooting through the used games bin to see if I could get something cheap. He found a used then, condom. Lo and behold, I found a copy of SSBB just sitting there. The oh, bottom. yeah, of course. Of course you would. What's Sorry. SSBB? Sorry. What's SSBB? No, what's SSBB? Oh, the paper in the game case showing the box art was gone, and all that was in its place was a piece of paper that said, Smash Bros. Wii. <laughs> Smash Bros. Wii. <laughs> and, and, had, and had crudely drawn a Smash Ball on it. I checked inside to make sure the disc was there. And it was. No, it when I brought it up to pay for the cashier, he seemed to flinch plate. when he saw... What the? The cashier seemed to flinch when he saw the box. What? I was... I, Dude, I, I bet you they get so many of those kind of uh, games like that. I know. I was too plus, excited to care, though. I paid plus, for the game, got in my car, and went home. <laughs> literally, I'm the kind of person, if the game doesn't have the actual correct box art, cover art, or anything close, I don't trust it. Yeah? Because usually the CD is either met up, or they just put a... Oh, I keep burping. Okay, just keep going. I won't be able to talk for like the next 20 seconds. <laughs> when I got home, I immediately popped the game into the Wii. Hold on. There you go. When I got home, I immediately popped the game in the Wii, and it started normal. The intro played, and it went to the title screen. When I got to the menu, I chose Brawl Mode. For some reason, all the characters were unlocked. Huh. I thought game saves data onto the Wii memory, not the disc. Oh well. I had seen Meta Knight shown off the E3 trailer in the game. He looked pretty cool, so naturally, I chose him. Okay. I made the three computer characters random characters. And then, and then, the game went to the stage select screen. Unlike the characters, only the starting stages were unlocked, except for the custom stages. There are about 50 or so. Okay, I played this game, there is not 50 stages. <laughs> Funny right now. And they all appeared 
to be the same thing. But, Curious. But each one has that subtle little difference that you have to look for to make it different. <laughs> I selected one of them and the match begun. The stage was pure white rectangle with a solid black background. Now ain't that the just a bunch of racism? It's pure Isn't white. It? The background music was Meta Knight's Revenge. What a coincidence, I thought to myself. I then noticed I was fighting Lucas, Ness, and Toon Link. But every time they hit me, the music grew quieter and got slower as if they were getting more da, hesitant to attack da, me. Da. Sorry, it's getting slower. <laughs> yeah. I also began to notice that Meta Knight's mask was starting to crack. I was weirded out by this. He was trying to, to snort cocaine where... through and leave a guy alone, jeez. Of course. Point that I barely noticed that Toon Link had hit me with a boomerang. At, at this, the music stopped completely and Meta Knight's mask shattered with a crashing sound. The screen almost immediately went black. By this point, I was legitimately scared. Hey, a screen went black. F start freaking out. Hey, Dude, when the screen like, goes honestly, black. Yeah, panic. but honestly, like, I've, I've played some pretty weird games and... Whenever I see that kind of stuff, I'm like, okay, I don't get how people get so scared over video games. Like, Dead Space legitimately makes me pee myself because it's, like, made to do that, not because it's bootleg to do that. <laughs> okay, I was pretty sure that these weren't the typical glitches. I then heard a distorted version of what I later found out to be Wolf's Down Taunt. What's the matter, scared? Whoa. Yes. This was followed by a horrible ear-piercing screech. <laughs> That's a cliche. Every yeah. single haunted game has that annoying screech that ben drives Drown, someone crazy. I stopped, no, I'm stopping Ben Drown because it's awful. It is so many. It it like literally everything that happens in it. Then an ear-piercing screech came out of the game, and then I had to like put a nice pick in my ears because it stopped the bleeding. And whatnot, you know. So yeah. stupid. Some slashing sound effects, a few screams. I was really freaked out and was about to turn the game off. When... I would have been laughing. I was so hard at those screams. Like... <laughs> like it showed the stage with three bloody skeletons lying on the ground. And then a and... skeleton lied down. <laughs> I didn't know he was standing over the skeletons with the back to the screen. He swung the sword a few times and a round flat piece of bone fell onto one of the skeletons. Meta Knight picked up the piece of the bone and put it to his face. He then turned around to the screen and realized <laughs> the bone was carved to look like Meta Knight's mask. I immediately turned off the Wii and took wait, the game back wait, wait, to the wait. store. When I got what there, kind of bone was it? Like, which, which bone was it? Because I'm guessing it was the, like I'm guessing the thigh was, bone. <laughs> yeah, it had to be that big Meta Knight's freaking mask. The, okay, when I got there, the cashier gave me a look and said. I told you so. He never even said anything. He just flinched. I don't. Know. He, he flinched. But maybe, maybe they can read body language really good. Oh, uh, maybe this is a town where they speak body language. Flap your arm yeah. twice. It means get me a drink or something. And then like flip me off if you think I told you so. <laughs> I saw a copy of Super Smash Brothers Bra on the store shelves, and they appear to be brand new. I walked right <gasps> past it and decided to play Super Mario like, Galaxy. Like, like, didn't that, didn't that all happen within, like, maybe a good three or four hours? Yeah, like, what What the... GameStop gets a new shipment of games that and day? How, and the story ends with, you know what? Screw Super Smash Brothers. I'm in Super Mario Galaxy. That game won't scare the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, but what, what how much you want to bet it's bootlegged again? <laughs> it's got, like, <laughs> the cover art is, like, a poorly drawn Mario standing on top of a star <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it, it sounds like, or like you, you know the theory of like super mario like uh galaxy like there's those like things in the background that look like aliens and like the file that those are i don't know are called, I never, like i never played it or well, well there, there, there's an urban you know myth about those little things in the background like it'd probably be oh, something about those guys you mean those stars on the cover no, the uh, oh, okay. there's so these like Martian that looking that things. That's you are a gay. <laughs> that's what it like legitimately says, or what people think it says. Okay, so before I have to rush to the bathroom, I'm gonna real quick narrate like a five sentence pasta. And then this this okay. could be the well, the, and then this could be the end of part one since it's pretty much forty yeah. minutes.
Okay, so it's called Pink Smoke, and it's literally an MLP pasta with a really terrible uh, edited picture. Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. The pink smoke shall rule the land and consume those who get in the way. The pink smoke shall trick and poison those who try to stop it. The pink smoke shall... Pink smoke? The pink smoke uh. shall consume slowly the blue smoke and which it pink sm Okay, never mind. I'm going to hit the head real fast. You can stop it here, I guess. Okay, the end of part one. Donate to St. Jude's thingy down below. <laughs>